AppSettings.json can be used with iLogger to define the log severity of a particular namespace in ASP.NET Core. This is part four of our AppSettings.json course, and we'll have a look at how to configure login in AppSettings.json. Remember to hit the red subscribe button or go to youtube.com slash round the code to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Learn .NET, Dependency Injection and Blazor WebAssembly with Round the Code's online courses. Go to roundthecode.com slash courses. With login in .NET, it uses the log level enum which is included in the microsoft.extensions.login namespace. These are the log level enum fields that are available, including their name, value and the iLogger extension method we can use to write a log at that level. The way it works in appsettings.json is that the enum value represents the severity of the log. When we specify a log level, it will write a log at a level that is equal or higher to its enum value, excluding the num field. So if we set a log level with the warning field, it will also write logs that have the error field and critical field. Login can be set in the appsettings.json file in an ASP.NET Core web app. It's set within this login section. We've got this log level section here as well. The key represents the assembly that we're referring to. And the value represents the minimum severity level for login. So in this example, anything that resides in the Microsoft.ASP.NET Core assembly will have a minimum severity level of warning or higher. Now we want to set up login within this controller here. We're going to set the namespace as round the code dot app settings dot controller dot home and we're going to give it a minimum severity level of error to write a log in an asp.net core web api you should create a new private read only member we're going to declare the type as ilogger and it expects a category name typically you use the class name as a category name which is what we're going to do now we're going to go ahead and create the constructor for it and we're going to pass in the logger instance as the parameter. Then we just set the private member for the parameter that we're passing in. We can now call the underscore logger instance and we've got a number of different methods that we can use depending on the severity level. We're going to write a log at the information severity level so we call that method and we're going to declare as the message this is the index page and run the application. Our API endpoint has run but if we have a look at the output in Visual Studio, we can see that no logs have been written. That is because for the assembly of roundthecode.appsettings.controllers.home, the minimum severity level is error. Let's go ahead and change that to information and rerun the application. We've rerun our API endpoint and we can see that the log has been written. Next, we're going to repeat the steps in this My Controller. Notice this has a slightly different namespace to the home controller. It's at roundthecode.appsettings.controller, whereas in the home controller, it's in the same namespace, but it's also got a dot .home. We're already passing in our logger instance, so we can go ahead and use that. Once again, we're going to write a log at the information level. I'm going to set the log message as this is my page. In the appsettings.json file, we're going to create a new record. So we're going to create one at roundthecode.appsettings.controller and the minimum severity level of that is error. Let's run the application. We've rerun our API endpoint in the home controller. We can see that it's still outputting the information log. That is because this setting is overriding the setting above because it's got a deeper namespace. So it's writing it at an information level, which is the minimum severity level for that particular namespace. If we run the API endpoint in the My Controller, we go back to the output, we can see nothing has been written. That's because we're logging it at the information level, but the minimum severity level is error. Login also works with environments, so you can set up different login levels for different environments. Check out the full course playlist for our appsettings.json course at roundthecode.com slash appsettings hyphen course.